packed. Oh. Uh. Well, John wanted to get his car washed, and we're in here now. I think I'm over my fear. I used to. Uh, <laughs> used to be terrified of car washes when I was a kid. They are scary. Ah, here it comes. But I would seriously, when I was a child, my mom would pull up to the car wash and, ooh, rainbows. I like the rainbow color. And I would get out of the car and then walk around to the other side and my mom would go through the car wash and I'd get back in. I was terrified of them for some reason. Well, they're scary. It seems like you could get trapped in here easily. I can see why a child would be afraid of a car wash. We'll have to see if our daughter is scared of like car washes. Look, it's got bars. Yeah, there's no getting out. And then the car wash monster will eat you. Uh, shoop, shoop, That's shoop, fast car wash. Shoop. Yeah, that was pretty fast. No rolling down the windows on me in the car wash this time, though. Not on a pregnant lady. And I'm wearing my nice dress today. I figured I'd wear this again. Ah, no! <laughs> At least it was just air. You asked for it. <laughs> that psyched me out totally. I'm wearing this nice dress that I got again because I figured, hey, I'm only pregnant a little while longer. Might as well get my use out of it and look fly today. So John's dad, sister, and brother-in-law are out here visiting. They came out to see Uncle Roger in the hospital, and we when we did that, they were here yesterday, and they're here today, and they're leaving tomorrow, but they wanted to do some touristy stuff now since they're out here. So we're at the Grove right now, and we're meeting them here to hang out with them and bum around LA a little bit. John's on the phone with his dad right now, figuring out where they are. Oh look, the trolley's running. The Grove is kind of crowded today. Yeah, so I was just gonna say there's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I've never taken a ride on that trolley. You weren't here when I did? You did, actually? Yeah. What? It's not what? that exciting, it goes like 500 feet. By yourself? Who'd you go oh, with? I was with my dad and Emily when they were here. What? Yep. Or maybe Emily wasn't here. Maybe it's just my dad. I don't think Emily's ever been out here. No. Like, what are you dad, talking about? Because my I said that because my dad wanted me to take a picture of the Abercrombie and Fitch model because they have like the naked models over there that are not there. With the guy? Underwear. Yeah. No. Was, <laughs> yeah. I'm not taking a picture of that guy in his underwear. It's like just on steroids, muscled out. It's like just do it. Send it. I'm gonna send it to Emily. I was like, you do it. <laughs> it's a CBS studio where they film The Price Is Right. When you walk by there and they're getting ready to film, they get the audience all really hyped and everyone's outside like, yeah, yeah! It kind of sounds like a roller coaster. It's really funny. And then most of the people just wait in line and never get in to the <laughs> actual show. Yeah. Bob Barker's favorite bagel shop is right across the street. I know it doesn't have the time machine makeover, but guess what? It's a DeLorean. I looked those up online recently, and they go from twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars. It's pretty expensive for that type of car. So we're hanging out at the Grove right now, and they've got live music over there. Sixties party song. Stage overlooking the water. Wild very romantic. There's a wild thing up there. I know you are. I know this man's wild thing over here. No, he's pointing at me, and I'm not. No, nope. no reaction here. He's a wild thing. What? What are you meowing? What are you meowing about, Aphrodite? Alright, so today is a big day for us. We are getting a new iMac. Um, I know you guys probably thought I was going to say we're having a baby, but we're having my technological baby today, but we got a new iMac. Um, it's on its way. FedEx is delivering it, but it's really cool. And lots of power. Great for video editing. We're switching back over to Final Cut Pro, which we haven't used for a long time. And one of the really cool things about Apple is all the music that comes in iTunes and Final Cut Pro is royalty free music. So you can use it on YouTube and you can put it in your videos and you can upload it without uh, worry of the copyright infringement laws that YouTube has because Apple allows you just to use all of their music and that's just like a huge added benefit because now we'll be able to insert music into our videos. I guess Humphrey doesn't want to say hi this morning. It's kind of funny because from this angle you might not be able to tell if that's his face or his butt. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have pulled out a lot of the electronic stuff from all about right here. This is all going to stay here, I know for sure. I think the printer is going to go here. I think the iMac is going to go here, and I think the PC is going to stay there. But I'm just doing a little reconfiguring. I want all the wires, you know, to kind of look nice and not be just entangled under the desk so it's easy to unplug stuff and plug stuff in uh, but that's kind of what I've been working on for the last 30 minutes uh, I just need to wait for the iMac to show up because that's kind of like a new centerpiece so I'm gonna put that in first isn't that right little you to bear don't worry I'm not moving your little bed or your little boxy toys so you will be able to play with them forever right. I know this isn't plugged in but you should stay away from electricity it's not good boobers Booskerston, Mr. Simon Wyman. Yeah, dog. I'm gonna get that ball from you, Thor. I'm gonna get that ball from you. Ah. Here's Miss Preggers. I have raccoon eyes. No, you don't. You're beautiful. <laughs> but I fell asleep with my makeup on, and now I have raccoon eyes. You're big, bold, and beautiful. Big, bold. Yeah. Well, because you're pregnant. Yeah. 39 weeks today. 39 weeks. You excited? Yep. Feeling more and more tired every day. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your body's conserving energy for I'm, when you're getting ready to pop that thing out. That's what I was thinking, that you get really tired so that you rest up because you could be, like, up all night pushing. Yeah. Well, pushing, I think, is the more important being up. Yeah, but you're, like, you're going to go through a lot of... Body bodily changes pushing that baby out of your little vajaja. <laughs> vajaja. Yeah. So sorry if I look like crap right now, guys. You look fine. You're very pretty. You're just resting up on the couch, just getting ready to have that baby. I'm trying to muster up the energy to work out. That's okay. You don't have to work out. I do because I won't be able to work out for six weeks after I have a baby. That's okay. You're going to lose a lot of baby poundage. I know. Breastfeeding burns a lot of calories. Ooh. So while Nikki's resting on the couch, I will wait on her hand and foot and make sure that she has everything that she needs. The cat's going crazy. Stop laughing at me. Okay. And I will just continue to organize the office. It's looking pretty good. Got everything. See all the wires? I mean, they're not like super organized, but at least they're all self-contained in one spot and it's not spread like all the way across the wall like it was. I'm at a loss for words. Here, look at that. And it's in a special apple box, so I just want to touch it. Uh, it's like a cheeseburger just waiting to be unwrapped. Like a present. Though I will say, Apple, I'm a little bit disappointed because it doesn't say fragile on the box. And this, to me, is one of those items that I think should have a little fragile on the box. What do you think, Boo? Do you approve of the box? I think he does. Well... Here goes nothing. Bum 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 bum. Simon, you better be careful. You remember when you fell in the like the flap trap box? This is the same thing. You could just fall. If I wasn't holding this right now, you would just fall. I should probably. I don't. Is it, would it be mean if I just let this go? I don't know. <laughs> ah! Damn it! I dropped the iMac being a dick to Simon. That's what I get. Instant karma. It's a good thing it's still in the box and it didn't fall very far, but you gotta admit, that was kind of funny. Here comes the big reveal. Ah. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. This is the 21 inch model. They have, or 21 and a half inches, I believe. They have the, the 22 inch or 27 and a half inch model, which would have been awesome to have a giant 27 inch computer, but it was also like an extra $1,200. So we decided to just uh, not get the, you know, the $5,000 iMac and went with the, this one, but it has a lot of power. It has a lot of the upgrades. It's got the i7 processor, extra memory, um, a lot of other bells and whistles, and it's just going to be perfect for editing video, and I think Nikki's really going to enjoy it. All right, so I'm just going through all of the setting up with the Mac. I got the keyboard, the mouse, everything is looking good. So excited to start editing videos on this bad boy. It's going to be awesome. Oh my gosh, look where Gizmo's head is in that window. <laughs> what is she standing on? Gizmo? She looks so silly. What a nice sight as I'm leaving. 
So I did manage to get in a workout today. Yes, I'm trying to stay pretty active because I think women who just kind of like lay on the couch while they're pregnant tend to go overdo more than active women. But I'll still rest if I feel like I need to. If I'm feeling kind of tired, I'll listen to my body, but still trying to get out and move around during this last week. Anyway, now I have to run an errand. I'm running to Target real quick because I gotta grab a couple things. Yay, Target. Dang, is this the only AA battery pack that they have, 24? I don't think I need that many. I, would, I thought that I needed to get some batteries for baby stuff to like all the machines and gizmos, like rock and play and the little bouncer that vibrates and things like that. But I looked through our battery drawer and it looks like we're pretty stocked up. I think I just need some more double A's because you go through double A's fast. They go in air fresheners, they go in everything. So I am grabbing some of those, but I don't think I need that many, geez. I'm grabbing some air fresheners in case some people will be stopping by to visit the baby. I want the house to smell nice. I think we have these Airwick things at home. But they both fit, don't they? Hmm. Just gotta find the right scent. Oh yeah, they do fit in any. I like the fruity scents a little better. And then I need some kitty litter because I don't like the kind that John got. No, I like clumping kind. Oh, just to clarify, I'm not cleaning the litter boxes anyway while I'm pregnant. John does it because of the toxoplasmosis risk or whatever, but I think that clumping cat litter has better odor protection. That's why I don't like the cat litter that he bought. No, sit. I got you dog chips. Doggy chips. What do you think? You want some, Thor? Thor! Oh, look who made an appearance. I wonder why. And the dog chip for... No. A dog chip for Lola. There you go, Lola. With the rawhide. Yeah, was that good, Nobs? Uh, Lola took her treat into the bedroom and she's eating it all sneaky in the corner and Thor walked up to her and Lola just started growling at Thor. Thor kept like trying to get in there. She's just like, rrr, rrr. it's so funny hearing Lola trying to be tough. She's just such a little chihuahua. What are you all done drinking now? Now that I got the camera, are you done with your water, Puff Daddy? I guess so. It's too late. Too slow. Ooh, now I'm relaxing a bit and enjoying this massage chair topper. And John's live streaming and talking with some viewers on Twitch TV over there. And the dogs are annoying me. Thor, Knobi, guys are annoying me. They're annoying me because they follow me around for like a whole hour before it's feeding time. And Baby is listening to some Mozart through belly buds. Jeez, Kenobi, you're so needy. And look at my weird belly button. <laughs> so needy. Such a needy dog. Well, hello, Mr. Simon Boo. Are you here to pester me too? Meow. <laughs> Jeez, all these animals. Kenobi, it's not time. You have an hour. Well guys, I'm gonna wrap things up. I just made myself a nutritious smoothie and I'm just gonna kind of relax, chill out. I'm watching the new season of Bad Girls Club right now. I love my trashy reality TV. But not too much is going on now, so please give the video, oh my gosh, I can't do like a thumbs up and different symbols because I got a cup in my hand. Please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and Always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. Yep, had to kiss my hand. Kenobi, do you want to say goodbye to everyone on YouTube? You want to say goodbye to all the YouTube viewers? Kenobi noobs! Kiss Moses, goodbye too!